Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I am going to be discussing Pumotics plasma cutting features. Now, once again, I am getting messaged literally at least 10 to 15 every three hours on this software. Different questions, different configurations, what setups, what breakout boards, so on and so forth. Um, what I want to make very clear is, of course, I'm doing videos as fast as I can. Uh, I'm trying to give you as much detail as possible. There is an extensive amount of detail with this software because, again, it supports so many different variables as far as end user requirements. So, again, in this video, uh, I once again wanted to cover for my plasma guys uh, and give you guys just a brief overview of exactly what you're getting with um, the option to go with the plasma module. Now, the plasma module is offered in a base module. The base module comes with uh, basically just you know the bare minimum of features what you're seeing with mine again I'm a beta tester so I have all of the advanced features of the advanced version of the plasma module okay but what you can see here once again is that this is not shy of being as in-depth as you're gonna get one of the things I really love is the arc voltage parameters. You can see if you leave your mouse over it, it'll explain everything again, required vo uh, voltage value. System will try to maintain this value during the cutting process, and you can switch it on. Auto voltage, again, if we leave this capture voltage ready state value at the beginning of the Z-axis correction process, it'll tell your actual voltage. Now, um, Pumotix does have their own torch height controllers. I'm working right now with them. Uh, actually to understand them a little better as far as their integration because they are really advanced. You, most of them are going to be either a standalone unit and they even have an Ethernet version based unit which again I'm looking at how we integrate them with the PLCM to make it a seamless uh, integration. Again I want you guys to have the best support and I'm working with that right now because again you can see over here all of the data on the left side here and again I did not turn the module on but you can get a really good assessment you got your arc ok force system to wait for arc ok signal for plasma module if pressed you can depress that now again this is actually active with the uh, module turned off if I turn on the module you're gonna see your THC and PLCM come on your LED your movement LED come up you can see your soft limits are active once again I've got just a demo G code uh, loaded and you can see on the toolpath preview we have our borders for our soft limits if I scroll out you can see exactly what we've got here do you have the custom macros right here another cool feature on your z-axis you can see you've got that another DRO integrated inside there and as you come over here THC correction right over here so it'll actually give you feedback on your correction okay now once again I have the advanced feature set for this software um, and again I'm gonna get all kinds of questions I know on the pricing of it and again it's based on what applications you need as far as how extensive the modules you want to add it can be anywhere I believe it's up to almost four hundred dollars depending upon exactly what modules you need once again you've got your probe material long z-axis and zero coordinates button z-axis correction um, again as we come over here one of the coolest things selected presets it comes preloaded with mild steel mild steel 6 mil mild steel 10 mil mild steel 8 mil and you can load all of your presets for all of your own selected material okay as we come up here and we come to the simulator mode running GCO without turning the torch on with the specified feed and height this allows you to select running your g-code basically through the air to make sure everything is perfect I love this feature because again very very powerful and it allows you to go through and test without actually using your consumables once again this little uh, note over here here is your simulation parameters you can select them you got your sheet marking stop on mo3 depending upon what you'd like to do again everything here is actually broken down by just coming over with the mouse and you can see exactly what's out there um, THC up here it'll let you know when this is active select controller name um, again very very extensive now that being said let's get into some really neat stuff if we go over the process parameters you can see now if we leave once again in the center box required feed rate cutting speed and length per units you can see it's even breaking down uh, step of parameter change if we come over here Pierce height millimeters Pierce uh, delay in seconds and again all of this pretty much breaks everything down for you you can adjust all this stuff on the fly 
and once again regulation parameters you have all of this control that you're working with and again when I said to my plasma guys I certainly did not forget you you can see how extensive this is this is not the typical run-of-the-mill software this is really allocated to you guys making money and being able to fine-tune your machine because again plasma cutting is not a science it's a lot of trial and error and the more variables you can adjust the better the finish on the material you're going to get um, again you can see I have the smart burn feature which is a really cool feature smart burn option increases nozzle tip height over workpiece surface during piercing stage I'm just gonna highlight it again to prevent possible damage from splashes of molten metal very cool pipe diameter defines pipe diameter for cutting using the rotary axis I've had so many questions on this feature once again you do have it in the more advanced modules of the software uh, once again if we come over to diagnostics okay you can see what we've got here and again I'm gonna state it again I have the beta tested version with all of the modules expansions so what you're seeing here is all of it okay you can see how your other axis are not expanded if I expand them you can see everything here motor disabled your uh, your limit low limit middle limit high a lot of this uh, is cross-referenced from the actual uh, milling software but as you can see here this is a very very in-depth piece of software this is no joke um, again z-axis correction diagnostics you can see what's going on here voltage overshoot exceeded it even gives you all the regulation limit block from g-code regulation limits reached z-axis correction button is pressed regulation delay you've got everything um, again this is more tuned for the guy who knows he's going to make money with the system okay if you guys are ready to make money with your system as far as plasma cutting without a doubt this module will take you all the way there let's go over another very cool feature I'm going to turn off the module right now so we can access it we're going to go into our settings and I'm going to come over here to the plasma once again you see this screen um, it looks very very much like our milling screen the one thing you'll notice THC controller you can come over here and select your controller not used up down manual THC external Z axis and you'll come over here and everything in here the firmware and everything and what's really cool is their THC modules will allow once again depending upon the connection type uh, the THC one I believe has an Ethernet connection which is amazing it actually connects to your system it can work with a switch format and basically you guys are connected and you're ready to go and that's how we integrate its use with the PLCM unit but once we come over here to the plasma setting now this is something I know you've never seen because I know I've never seen it and I love it uh, ignore z-axis moves and feed rate from g-code this is nothing too new uh, ignore z-axis moves and breaks it all down but watch this as we come over here probe input and we highlight it you can see over on the screen if you look closely on the tip whatever is highlighted on uh, on this actual menu input of probing signal from protective screen cap you can see it actually highlighted on the screen in blue at the tip of the torch you come down you're going to see again what you're using probing input reserve allows a correctly uh, complete the probe task if the main probing sensor did not work for some reason then you have over here enable output um, output for switching on the ohmic sensor measuring uh, circuit so once again if you decided to go with that you'd have that ability um, again it's not highlighted on the torch because it's not typically on there it's just signal now this is interesting uh, the distance when lifting the cutter to trigger to reserve the probing sensor when the backup sensor is activated the height adjustment is applied automatically so again you've got all of these features and once again you can see your sensor right here if you decide to go with that torch detachment input something that a lot of guys don't think about it does it helps tremendously in the event you have that happen god forbid when a signal is triggered the g-code executing is automatically stopped with the corresponding message after the cutter position is restored you can continue from the stop position so again if you put that module there the actual switch to detect when the switch is detached again it'll stop you don't lose your spot it'll go back and do everything so again to my plasma guys and again I have stated again I have the all of the modules for supporting the plasma system and again from smart burn to the pipe cutting you name it this gives you an overview of what's possible okay now how many of you actually require all this it just depends on where you're going with your system but if you want to start uh, with the base level software again the thing to keep in mind 
we need to know first what you're using as far as drives. Are they an IDS system, which again is individual drive system where you're using one drive per axis and you have to wire each individual drive and you're using a breakout board, or are you using an integrated driver? Integrated drivers are usually going to be cheaper. That's like a Gecko G540 where it has four drives internally in its little black, uh, black box. So again, keep that all in mind. Plasma systems do not require typically massive amounts of torque. Again, we're not doing anything. There's no load on the system as there is with the mill. Uh, that being said, it's very cost effective to use smaller motors and integrated drive like a G540. And really for my guys out there who want, you know, cutting edge type torch height control, something that we've discussed numerous times, there hasn't been a lot of change in the market. You can rest assured uh, we've got some different variables we can adjust and different packages we can put together with the different THC modules that support pumotics. Okay. Now the uh, big thing there is just understanding once again which way you guys want to go, and I can't emphasize that enough. First of all, we need to know your budget. We need to know you know what your actual projects are. Do you have a business model you're trying to support? Because again, many of these modules you may not need. Other guys will need them. And the nice part is you can expand as you go, and I cannot emphasize that enough. But again, giving you this screenshot to see everything that is possible, then it really opens up the doors, you know, in, in your mind, so to speak, of what's out there. Because, again, I've had so many guys complain about Mach 3, complain about Mach 4, and, you know, there's not really a lot of software that's designed just around plasma. And that's the neat thing about Pumotics is they really took the time to make screen sets and designs explicitly for whatever use you're using with. Again, the oxyacetylene version, you've got that as well, which is just incredible. I mean, I'm, most guys have never even seen that. I've never seen a screen set for that. Uh, again, I'm trying to do videos as fast as possible. Um, I will be covering uh, more of those type screen sets in the future, but overall, Plasma is something that, again, I've promised everybody because I'm getting hit with so many messages on it. I hope that I've answered many of your questions. If you guys have more questions, once again, message me direct at storm2313 at gmail.com. Uh, again, for consultations, quotes, whatever it may be, I'll do my best once again to get back with you. Uh, keep in mind, and I cannot emphasize this enough, working with the engineers in Russia, they are great. They are fantastic. They provide superior support I've seen. And the big thing to keep in mind is that they're on a different time zone. So I work with them usually in the morning. Um, if you look at Russia's time zone, whenever you message me, uh, again, my support reps usually get back to me very, very, very quickly. The big thing here is that we all understand that time zone exists. So to be really effective, I want you guys to understand that and just you know keep that in mind when you message me a question. I can only answer you based on what I know and if I've used it and if I haven't, then I always go right to the superior source because, again, I want you guys to have the most accurate information. So, again, if you do need to message me direct, storm2313 at gmail.com. You'll see the video uh, in the video's description, that contact information, as well as my eBay store, uh, eDealers Direct. You'll see that also in the uh, video's description in the beginning and the end of the video. Thank you all for your support. Take care.